dragons, where the where everything is made up and the points come back. Everything that I just said. Or ignore it. Or whatever. That's what happened. Just knew nothing. I was trying to uh, fill the gap. Your head is gone? Yep. I guess it's okay. should take this time to like go over what we want to do with the uh... yeah well we spoke well we chatted about it but yeah you're right we should talk about it personally i know it's probably not the favorite choice but uh <laughs> sister is down uh to focus on destroying her assets and then confronting her rather than trying to stop it and like not accomplish as much but like that's just her i feel like if we try to stop the ritual if anything we can we can see him out and get over with you're not wrong but i'm probably sure that i'd rather have one large fat tiamat than one weakened tiamat and all our dragons That's right, it's like hiding some. Everything. Uh, comes out of lead today, we were talking about food and summer cessation. I think he meant sensations, but I'm pretty sure he wrote in the document cessation. Nope, he did say sensations. I was wrong. Shall we do it? Let's play some D and D. Let's D and D. B and D, specifically. 
Hello, welcome everybody to to Bears and Dragons, uh, where a bunch of us nerdy ass bears play sit around and play, play Dungeons and Dragons. Thank you. I appreciate that. And uh, uh, and and I wear uh, merchandise for my, the podcast. That this is all all attaching to. Tassel.com slash Cubs Out Loud. You can also become a patron at patreon.com slash Cubs Out Loud or send us some cash at paypal.me slash Cubs Out Loud. Anyways, previously on our Sunday night shenanigans right now, uh, what happened last time? I admit I kind of cut it short. but uh, Well, we pretty much we had our final meeting of the council, the council meeting, uh, the Lords of Waterdeep. Kind of assessed our last um, thing with Jake that we did with uh, Zampo's Tower, and then the meeting with the Wizards of Fae. On our way back, we had a meeting with some devils. Um, I can't get his name right now. Um, well, I don't. We dealt we dealt with them before, and pretty much they said they want to help us out. Asmodeus wants to help us out and stop this. Uh, we did you don't know why? Really? Apparently he has some reason why he wants Tiamat to stay there. I don't think he has. I've been asked. I mean, they're both gods, so they're kind of on the same level. Yeah. But. Uh, yeah. We met um, our. What would you call them? Comrades, I guess. Yeah, your original patrons actually left, and well, except for one of them technically, um, but he stayed behind for reasons. Uh, but uh, they, instead of Leon being the uh, head of the Eyes of Io, is now Krebus because he is an avatar of Io now, uh, full true avatar, you could say, because well, <laughs> he can now turn into a dragon that's the size of Bahamut. Mm. Quite big. Um, yeah. So, in addition to that, you were you were going to you were going to, guys were going to have a war council to basically make your plan for war. Uh, you found out thanks to the Harpers and Zentarum agents. Uh, who it's really odd that the Zentarmen are because you know they're usually bad guys. That so you have a bunch of resources, and what uh, has currently happened at the Well of the Dragons? They were not able to get much of an inside look into the operations, but they were able to get information about what is there. Uh, the leader is Severin. He's supposed to be. Um, he's going to be heading. They're finding out that they Severin is going to be heading up the ritual uh, to summon Tiamat into the world. Um, you have been given information that a uh, red wizard who previously was killed at one point, or was he, um, in the previous. Part a guy named Wrath Modor is apparently still alive or is alive again. Um, and he is leading the Red Wizards of it is as for the Red Wizards part of the ritual. Speaking of which, they have Red Wizards. They there's of course the Worm Speakers, the cult leaders, the ones that are um basically the organizations and the troops. They've got troops. 
They've got a massive amount of troops. So we're definitely going to war. We, of course, have chromatic dragons. I mean, hey, it's Tiamat. Uh, of course, chromatics are go going to. They apparently were summoned because of something known as the Drakhorn, which Kriv, Krebus, and Laden, and Kriv, Krebus, Laden, Boy, and Lemon have all been having a little bit of a headache lately. And it's because they are because they are able to hear the Drakhorn sounding, but it's not one where anybody else, you know, it's kind of like dog whistle type thing, except this more tuned to dragons. Uh, the chromatic dragons answered the call because, well, Diamant, what do you expect? Um, there are some devils that are helping them out. There are some giants that are also uh, helping them out for whatever their reasons are. Uh, they have also hired a plethora of mercenaries. Um, just recently, they had summoned the Temple of Tiamat from the Seven Hells, uh, from Vernus. Uh, and apparently Severin has, has something called the Mask of the Dragon Queen. They have not seen any of the uh, seen the the temple seems to be hidden somewhere but they know relative entrances as to how to get into the area of where the temple of tiamat would be um because of all these resources you can, you are, have been tasked with assigning who's going to do what uh, basically can count, kind of like work on counters. The war council is, the table is put pretty much like in the, in one of the big open places, nice round table. You get a little bit of a map of the caldera, but it's not very detailed. Um, just because we can't, they, the agents weren't able to see fully inside the caldera. They get, just can point out that there were entrances that they were aware of um, on the north, north side of the caldera. And there are two that are within sight of each other. There, there's one that's on the west side. Um, there's trying to get up. A reference guide here. There is three entrances that are on the east side of the caldera. And one of the agents was able to find a another entrance, but when they went to to look into accessing it, uh, there was it was a collapsed tunnel, but that was on the south west side of the caldera. So you have different approaches. How collapsed. Like, completely collapsed. Like, it is possible that with some time you might be able to get through it. Like, clear out the packet passage. Okay. But it would take time. Yeah, but if, if it's collapsed, probably they're not guarding it. So it would probably be um, easier. I know it's, it's, it's not me to say it, because I, I always want to fight. But I think, depending on what we want to do, if we want to stop this ritual or impede it, um, we need to go fast, and fighting is not the best option. Yeah, 
So maybe passing by the like the back door, though. Um, I'm always hot for passing fire by the front door and causing a commotion and breaking bones. So. Keep in mind, you, keep in mind, this is just the caldera, um, where the ritual is supposedly taking place. None of the agents were actually able to see inside or get get access to to the inside, so they don't know all the specifics as to what's going on inside. But there are camps, dragons flying all around on patrol. Apparently, uh, prisoners that uh, have been taken by the cult are, are primarily being taken in through uh, one of the tunnels in the southeast. If it's a ritual for a demon, actually, I'm going to roll. No, so you're rolling. Uh, I know, I know, de like, Jordan knows that demons normally need um, souls. For, for for stuff and rituals, so it's fair to assume that they need to die, like a sissy no? I'm not sure. Oh, but I have advantage on the arcana, so I would still. Uh, you wouldn't know about what this ritual is because technically, this ritual is for in regards to a dragon god, not. No. An actual oh, demon or devil. Um, yeah, I understand. So, well, saving people is still a, like a good thing. If there are how many did you say? Hundreds prisoners. Yeah, that that may be a lot. We we could save those, or at least give them an opportunity to flee. So we are. Right now, you're at you're at a war console for the uh, at the Sanctum of Eyes. Okay. Um, it it was starting to sound like we were somewhere where there were prisoners and stuff. Yeah. Well, it, you were getting reports from the Harper and Zentarum agents as to what the current situation is uh, that they were able to ascertain. Mm -hmm. yeah, I gotta, um... I might have a way to actually get us through. Do you know the way? Um, that caved in area. Yes, it's there. To the curry. There's also that, yes. Oh yeah, the col yeah the collapse area. If we can squeeze through like inches holes, probably we could find a pathway in the that collapsed boulder thing. Oh, I could just move them. That could work. Okay, too. so my thought: bring y'all into my because we have two potions of gaseous form. I can cast uh, gaseous form on myself, so it's three people. Yeah. Person, so I can't, I can't, can't do it for everyone. But if I bring you all into my bottle, and then I go into gaseous form, get us all the way through. Cause it lasts for up to an hour. As long as as long as it's not super long, because you only get you only get picked to get a speed of ten feet, but it's an option instead of stealthing in there. Yeah. Hey, uh, question just just to be sure. Um, can y'all can y'all see um in the game log? No. No. Oh, okay. 
like that were 40 minutes ago? Yeah, 40 minutes. Oh, in the game in the game log, yes, on D&D Beyond. Yes. Okay. I I was just trying to see if we were having the same problem no. with it. Yeah, I see yours 21 and yours 16. Okay. Carry on. Yeah. So, that is an option for us if we want to go Stealthier more than make a commotion. Not uh, great at stealth, but. That's what I'm saying. Like, I can. We can go through that caved in tunnel while y'all are my bottle. Me holding on to my bottle, go gaseous form, and snake our way through. Someone. Uh, don't you need to be in the bottle? No. He checked. <laughs> we we had this before. Like I do not have to be in the bottle for other people to leave. Well, hey, wait, 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 wait. Actually, I think. Let me double check. It's your character. You should know better than me. <laughs> Keep reading. Everybody, everyone is ejected if you leave or die. Oh, yeah. If everyone is ejected, it. And everyone is ejected if you leave or die or whoever is in here. Sorry to be your lawyer. No, it's fine. But the the plan still works. You it just needs to be not you Someone holding. Else. Yeah, else. yeah. Because I have a I have two potions. Uh, gaseous form and the. Uh, let's try not potion. to use. Yeah, let's try not to use your um, your your spell slot. We we're going into big enemy territory. Technically, I have I have even though I didn't show it. I technically do have four. It's still not, so change the characters or who does what around, but we still can do it. I I would vote for either Keithrick or Shitan. Ah, uh, I'll do it. Pick me, pick me. I could go visible. Well, you're gonna be. Well, we're gonna have them go in gaseous form. He could still turn invisible. I can also go invisible. <laughs> he's gonna be Bonus! He's going to be a silent and deadly fight. I won't be able... I don't think I can necessarily go invisible when I'm in gaseous form, but I could... Yeah. I'd be gaseous form to get through, and then more through, I could just pop out or something like that. I don't know. Um. Okay, so... Okay, that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, but do we do we try to save the prisoners getting uh in by I I didn't get what entrance they're getting in. Probably not that one. We say the southeastern. Southeastern. So um The the one the the caved in tunnel is in the southwest. So let's say Let's say we we save those. We could retreat and come back by the secret entrance, or just go right through and mow down everything that lives. You know, I'm always up to mowing down people. Or, yeah. Um. Well, sorry, I didn't hear the part about the prisoners, but yeah, prisoners is number one. Yeah. All right, so we're going to go through the southwest, southeast, southeast, southeast for the prisoners. Southeast for the prisoners. So that's it's a they they're reporting that's a highly trafficked entrance. Yeah. 
So we're doing like a two bird with one stone. Like we save prisoners and I kill cultists. That's a win-win situation in my book. We might be able to find a way to close off that cat that entrance. Like bring the tunnel, like bring the tunnel entrance down or something. Uh, could there be spells to affect buildings? Anything with an explosion? Oh, um. Oh, no. Well, do I know this stuff? You know, like a magic missile? Yeah, I know this spell. Don't we have a hydroid that we could rely on? Well, the she's going to be pretty much with the uh, with the rest of the eyes vial. Well, a scroll could do also. But like, I think I think I remember. Well, in my realm, we have that. I don't know if like you have it here, but um, do druids do earthquakes here? I mean, we would have to get an outside resource. But... Yeah, that could that could do pretty fine as either an emergency or right after we focus the uh, um, what's the name? The save the saving of the uh, the prisoners. So one of the big questions uh, that I was on everybody's mind. Yes. High level high level uh I think both the druids and clerics can do. Well, we do have clerics. It's eighth level. So I'm gonna turn my head to Zinderlov. Hey Zin. Yes, that could work. Like I'm, I'm not able to do that high level spell. No, that sucks. Maybe a mirage for that. Yeah, no, he, he, he doesn't feel feel bad. He's just sta stating fact. Oh, wow. It's next level. Yeah. Oh, fuck all. <laughs> all right. Um. Well, that's a plan. We could check. We could check if we can have a scroll for it. We have to roll for it. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, yes. Mm -hmm. Could my um, potion thing, uh, um, I don't know what to call it, the, when we first, when I first came in, we made it so that my uh, uh, background thing, hermit, yeah. A tracking potion, yeah. Yeah, would, could that help in any way? In what, are you, what are you trying to track, though? Is it, it, would, it would be like tracking a certain type of beast, or uh, uh, like, uh, or maybe even uh, maybe it's even one for a dragon or something like that. But it wouldn't be for for like a specific person. We 
where the dragons are, right? Yeah, they're cur like all the chromatic dragons are currently flying around the, the area of the well of the dragons. So I I don't know. Um There's quite a few of them there. Yeah, track dragons. Big old spot right here at the Well of the Dragons. You know exactly where the Well of the Dragons are because that's where all of the chromatic dragons are. Yeah. Also, you have uh, you have dragons like right next to you. <laughs> um. Okay. So we know we want to save the the the, the um, prisoners because they're probably of some use. They're just they're not just meat shield, I guess. Besides, they're like still lives that we can save so you know yeah. that's something um i i when correct me if i'm wrong but i bet we know i bet we know um that they need the the dragon masks mm -hmm. you don't have any of them we don't know of course not Sadly, we couldn't get our hands on any. Well, the ones that we got were fake. Yeah. I mean, you you could have gotten one, but that went to shit. Yeah. That was a so, long time ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Heart of the Dragon Queen. Yep. Uh, was it the white one? Nope. It was black. Black one. Oh, uh, yeah. The black one. Well, anywho. Um... So, uh, so we need, we need to make sure that we get, like, if, if we cannot stop it, at least that they don't, like, end up with the masks, or at least one of them, so if it's required, because we don't know most of the rituals or anything about it. But like, what of the speculation? We know that it's important, right? What you do know is that they have been collecting prisoners. They have been collecting a mass amount of treasure, and the they have red wizards for whatever reason. Faction, I guess. They're exiles. Oh, right. Your Red Wizard allies are are like, are like, they probably wanted them for the arcane potential. It, I mean, trying to summit a god to the world will, will take a lot of concentration, and they probably need multiple multiple wizards. Uh, the representative for the Arcane Brotherhood uh, basically uh, agrees. Okay. Um. So the wizards are there, right? There's a representative right there, right? Of the Arcane Brotherhood? Mm -hmm. You have a representative for from each faction to help coordinate the efforts. Uh, the only one you technically don't have a direct uh, representative is for the me uh, metallic dragons because uh, essentially uh, the eyes of Io and Krebus are, or Krebus is essentially leading both the eyes of Io and all the uh, metallic dragons. Makes sense. Okay. Um... Krebus was surprised about that, but after talking to Elia, uh, understands what happened. Uh, case. somebody's father-in-law uh, pulled some strings. I wonder why. Maybe not pulled some strings, but directly commanded. <laughs> yeah, he, he just looked and they said, okay. <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, oh, oh okay. <laughs> no problem. Right, so, um, do, do any of your wizards, sorcerers, warlocks, or if you have druids in your care, has um, a spell to affect structures. I mentioned earlier uh, 
first quake, but if you you mages has another spell, um, that could help. Uh, we would need some sort of like high level cleric or druid, but uh, from my understanding, the older one. Yeah, maybe you want to talk to the Emerald Enclave over there. <laughs> I'm gonna turn my head to the Emerald Enclave. Uh, I'm so the whole uh, group that is just a pretty much druid. Yes. And rangers and, and, and other things, but yeah, pri primary source of druids. Um, well, you haven't assigned our tasks, so... Dot, dot, dot. Prepare the sister. I think that's going to be useful, but I'm not. I'm not here to speak in the name of everyone. That's not my job. Um, I'm pretty sure we need to face the majority of the cult uh, troops and leaders with most of our armies. And I'm looking at the uh, the order of the gauntlet. Uh, when I say this, I, I'm pretty sure you can manage this all by yourself. You're, as I heard, you're the, the like, good soldiers. Um. Uh, other fir firm lets you know that, uh, uh, that yes, we are the, the toughest, most steadfast uh, soldiers on the Sword Coast. So I'm pretty sure you can take the cultist troops. The chromatic dragons are gonna have to. Well, be... Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? Uh, just a suggestion. Um, there, we may be some of the starters, most steadfast soldiers, but nowhere near the number that the Lord's Alliance army has. Unfortunately, I don't remember the numbers, but you, you're probably right. So think of think of the order. Order of the Gauntlet as a, it, they're a large group, but compared to several different city states armies all gathered as one. So, Waterdeep, Baldur's Gate, uh, I can't remember who else is in uh, Neverwinter, I think is part of the Lords of Alliance. All those separate, separate city states, their own uh, military all as one big united military grand company. That's what the Lords of Alliance, so they're, they're pretty much, yeah, mass, the mass forces of the separate members of the Lords of Alliance are second only to the Order of the Gauntlet in fighting power and far more numerous. So, yeah, the main army then should fight, my bad for that, my, the main army should fight the, uh, the cultist troops, um, as well as the evil mercenaries. Devils versus devils, giants versus giants, sorry, guys, that's you're gonna find you're gonna fight your own kind. Unless you think you have a, a better advantage against something else. Um but the main focus should be the metallic dragons for most. A re a reduced uh Blagothcus. Like he had the spell spell large reduce with the reduce option casted on him. He's currently inside. And he goes, my people will definitely take on those who are, uh, will definitely take handle all of those who have, for some reason, joined this. Normally we don't like dragons. I don't even know why, why they joined. I mean, I had a thing. I was thinking that would spur them up. I mean, really, I wanted them to spur them up so that we would have somebody to fight. But now they join them full off? That's, this is, it's against my plan to begin with. And and look now, and he points over to to uh, uh, Krebus. He says, "Now we're fighting with dragons. Still, it's it's a weird conjury, but we'll take care of the other giants. I think that would probably be for the best." Uh, uh let's see. I'm just going to say Matthias Castellander. I don't remember what I said his first, first name was. Uh, who was the human representative for the devils. Uh, you're the devils of Asmodeus. 
says, We will make sure to conjure to summon our devils to uh, handle all the other devils. I believe we have a pit, couple of pit fiends that are ready to, to charge in when we summon them. As long as you keep your, your grasp over them, that, that's fine by me. My lord, and I mean as Modius, has instructed them explicitly to only go where we tell them to. And if we tell them to go attack the devils, they will. That is their deal. Basically, um, devils, once they've got chains on them, they'll, they'll stay chained until they're broken. But with, when you've got Asmodeus holding the other end of the chain... Even if the chain is broken, they're just going to sit there and wait. It's going to be like, no. The chain, is, the chain is not a physical chain. It's mental. <laughs> it's like... He's, he's the impersonation of... I can pop you back down, down here and you will be a lemur? Do you want to be demoted? <laughs> that far? <laughs> I, I like saying lemur versus lemur. Even though whenever I think lemur, I think of a uh, really cute monkeyish fuzzy thing. But that's beside the point. Is there a bone devil anything with us? No. Okay. It, it mainly, the idea, the bone devil was kind of like the main representative, but thinking when dealing doing the actual dealing he gave he was like you know might be more people are more a little more comfortable if a human was there and he's basically acting as uh, uh what's his name's a representative so you don't actually have a bone devil there he's he's there for his master whose master is <laughs> asmodeus <laughs> It's a chain. The, the bone devil stayed hidden in a tent off away from people. He's not trying to disturb anybody. Although everybody in the room knows now that they're dealing with devils. But apparently a bargain was struck. And uh, apparently even Asmodia said that his, his end of the bargain was not repaid. <laughs> so this is how he's repaid it. <laughs> Moving on. Okay, when, let me actually get my little chart here so I can like uh, mark things down as you're assigning them. All right. So. So you're having the Lord's Alliance army basically take on the, the normal troops, the whole metallic, metallics versus chromatics, devils, devils, Einstein's, right? Yeah. Um, Pasta. Weirdly enough, we we probably know that uh, Severin, Rathmodar, um, are gonna be in the ritual. Like that would be dumb of them not to be, I guess. Mm -hmm. Since I th I think we. We know Severin's a, a mage. I don't know what kind of mage, but I know he's a mage, right? Uh, I don't think you really know too much. All you know that he's leader of this version of the Cult of the Dragon. Okay, so probably Severin is going to be um, like in the ritual. Um, so um, probably those, are, those should not be included in like most things, so that leaves the cult leader. Uh Dagger probably gonna be in um what's the name? In the said rituals. Like they probably need high magic to summon a god. So I guess they, they're not gonna use like puny mages. So that leaves the cultist troops that are going to be taken care of by the Lord Alliance our army with the evil evil mercenaries. And uh, the Red Wizards 
Oh, yeah, could be the Red Wizards instead of the Cult Leaders for the ritual. Yeah, you don't know, like, how many... You weren't able to get a get a, any exact tally of how many Red Wizards there are. But you know that there's red, red wizards. Uh, the um, the spies, the Zatarman and Harper spies, will report that they have been seen outside the Caldera in the army, the cult's army camp. Uh, they have been seen entering and exiting the Caldera, but they haven't been able to really get a an exact count as to how many. Uh, are are actually part of this rogue faction. So. so Red Wizards may not just be there for working on the actual ritual for the summoning, but they may be doing those other things as well. Okay. So let's say our group and um the Emerald Enclave goes to the um to beat up the Temple of Tiamat. That would leave the Order of the Gauntlet, Centaurus Assassins, Harper J Harper's Agents, and um, the Arcan Brotherhood to uh, fend off the Red Wizards, the Cult Leaders, and assist the Lord Alliance Ar Army. So, like the Zentarum Assassins and the, the Zentarum Assassins basically going after the Cult Leaders, trying to knock out the leadership? Yeah. And all that remains would be to deal with the metallic dragons. Like I said, those should be priority targets. So if someone else than me has an idea... Wait a minute, hold it. Reverse that. Chromatic, you mean? <laughs> Which would be taken care of by the metallics, right? No, dragons, dragons. No, 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 not yet. No. Chromatic dragons, my <laughs> main focus, my bad. Sorry, everyone. But you, uh, you would want the metallics to... To, uh, if anything, keep the chromatics busy so they can't be, like, you know, giving chewing down the breath. And, army as alliance. Right. Strafing the, the battlefield with dragon breaths. No, exactly. If Besides, they fire them. The quicker we deal with the metallic dragons, the quicker our, the, the, with the chromatic dra dragons, the quicker our metallic dragons can help um, drive off devils, giants, and um, others. Even though I doubt it should be a good idea um, politically for metallic dragons to attack giants. Uh, so, probably not good. I mean, if you just say keep the keep the chromatic dragons busy, then that's what they'll do. Previous would be like, well, I mean, I think that's pretty much our, our primary concern is take care of care of the the chromatic dragons. You're don't worry, right. don't worry. You got me, Kriv, Kriv, Layden, and, and all the other metallics. We got about, I think, uh, uh, I think Elliot last last said he, she got about like twenty other dragons. Although they're not all ancient, they, they, we got the five ancient ones, and the rest are, are adult type. But apparently, mo most of the uh, most of the dragons uh, at the Caldera are, are adult. There's a few ancient dragons there, but they're uh, chromatics, but um, uh, most of them are adult and even less than that. Um, Kribis, yeah. did we get any feedback on uh, the Incarnum Dragon to know if he's going to be of the party? Oh, no, Raven Crow, Coros, no, no, he's, 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 he's got his job with the Raven Queen. All right. Yeah. Um, I understand the main goal is to... Um, Occupy the chromatics. Yeah, just keep them out of the way. That would go against my personality to go and say, "Yeah, just occupy them." No, no, I, I know you're strong. Just destroy their, these bitches. I mean, if we, if we end up killing them along the way, that's even better. But but the main main focus is make sure that that we keep them busy, which might involve killing a few of them and, and getting them out of, out of the way, so so that. Um, Everybody else down below, because most likely we'll be in there, uh, we'll be taking care of things. We can take care of their things without having to worry with, about like dragon attacks. I'm gonna turn my head to the Emerald Enclave. You, you, 
you're uh, a gang of rangers and druids, do you have dragon hunters? Uh, not specifically. We're more of taking care of nature and the balance. So we don't really hunt dragons. I mean, if they're upsetting the balance, we might assist with that, but most of that is we end up hiring adventurers for that, honestly. Okay. Um, so if our group is coming from one one hand of the uh, the, the, the the temples, we could need a second group of um, warriors or fighters to go to the other side and draw attention. And obviously fight off the I enemy. believe that's what most of us are doing. Yeah. So if we know what entrance you're you're planning to go to go to, we can start harrying the troops of another to draw them out. Basically well, what we'd be doing. We're going to uh, take care of the prisoners, so um I mean, would you like us to help you evacuate them? Yes. Well, that's my opinion. You, you guys been quiet. Sorry, I've been taking so much notes. You're fine. Catherine yeah. is not... Catherine said, didn't say anything. <laughs> he, <laughs> he, actually, Keithrick, roll me a stealth check. Keithrick is nowhere to be seen. With advantage. Okay. Nobody, nobody even knows where you are. We didn't get the chance to have a map of the layout, right? <laughs> You're currently in a tree outside. <laughs> I mean, I'd, I'd be inside. I, oh, let's just say I'm like somewhere behind the log or squall or someone. Or even, even Kruger. I don't know. You're behind Kruger. <laughs> he's, he's kind of like stretched his wings out a little bit. <laughs> Just a little. Just because he can. So, we would need someone to secure the um, the prisoners by the southeast entrance. And I would, I would ask the Emerald Enclave to do so, because afterward you can... Um, lock up the um the entrance hurting the, the the temple would be probably something great to do throwing them in dismay um if you guys have any idea of other pe other spells that you can do unfortunately I'm the spellcaster so I don't know them all yeah, uh, if you can can locate them, we can work on on getting them evacuated. Okay. Can you um herd the temple? Uh, sadly, we do not have any any spell cast. Uh, any of our druids are able to to perform that. No, I'm not going to have you <laughs> have you access to the earthquake spell. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Okay, control weather. Let's freeze them bitches over. <laughs> uh, so, just to, just to clarify, so the um, this is what I have so far. So you're having the Zantarum assassins uh, going out, out and picking off the cult leaders. Yep. Uh, you're going to have the Lords of Lions basically is your main group that is going to be taking care of the ground troops. Yep. The, the humanoid ground troops. Uh, the metallic dragons will be keeping, will be occupying, uh, uh, or going after the chromatic dragons that are uh, to make sure that everybody else is safe from dragon attacks. Devils versus devils, giants versus giants. Uh, we do have the evil mercenaries, which are kind of a separate group of people. These are kind of the. Uh, these would be kind of like more of elite troops. So elite troops versus elite troops would be kind of like Order of the Gauntlet esque. Yeah. So would you want the Order of the Gauntlet to be taking care of those? I want to have um, a group helping out the dragons because 
I'm pretty sure they're going to help out their best assets too. Well, I mean, technically, uh, helping out the dragons would be a very gargantuan sized uh, dragon. He points that himself. Yeah. So, um. But, I mean, most of the dragons will probably be flying. But that's going to be a little bit difficult. You, you need people like that can fly and can handle dragons, you know? So, dragons can do dragons. Don't worry, don't worry. We, we we got them. I mean, one thing that might help is I do know I keep having this ring in my ears. He, 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 Lady and Kurt Kurt was telling me about this, and I think this is the Drakhorn. If you could like disable that, uh, that would help a little bit because they won't be hearing the like constant call to, to arms sort of thing. Might be able to start scaring them off, being like, "Oh, the Drakhorn's not sounding. I, I can go home now." Something like that. I don't know if that's how it works, but do we okay. know where to find that? Uh, the Cult of the Dragon have it. Yeah, but, like, do we know what part of like the temple it is? Probably. The the Zintarum and Harper agents did not see it. All right, so, um. I'm going to I'm going to assume that they're not dumb just for the sake of it and they probably wouldn't let it be close uh to many other objectives for of them so if they're guarding the mask somewhere it should be far away from the dracon and if the prisoners or the ritualists or that important, they're going to be far away of the other places. So, not knowing where they where the entry or anything around this is, we need so, we need a group taking care of the dracon, um, one taking care of the prisoners and one taking care of um the masks if it, if it's guarded. So right now, based off of everything that I'm understanding, your uh, Skyreach Castle would probably actually be assisting with with anything that's airborne, uh, and probably uh, able to fire at the ground as well. Um, so Blagoskis will be delivering that. The only thing is he they'll he'll probably get into position where the it, it's very noticeable coming. So. Um, uh, uh, Krebus will definitely mention that it's probably a good place for the uh, dragons to kind of as their staging area because they're going to be in the sky uh, along with them and uh, help out. It also, Skyreach Castle might even be good for evacuating prisoners. You get them out of the tunnels, it can land, get people onto it, and quickly tra and transport them out. That uh, that would help. So I hate not having a battle map. So not helping. All all they have is a caldera and positions for for the positions of the entrances to it. They don't. They haven't been able to get inside to actually look at it. So there's an uh, entrance to the northwest, two to the northeast, uh, one a little south from the two in the northeast, uh, one just almost dead center in the east, one in the southeast, and the one which looks like it was caved in in the southwest. And we said we're going to the south. That would be where the prisoners have been taken. Yeah. And it's heavily trafficked, so there's a lot of people around there. Not just prisoners, mind you. Question: Are we, uh, are we all looking at the same background? Um, the eyes. Yeah, yeah eyes. thinking about eyes. Yeah. Okay. That's where I, I positioned I, you. I was starting to think that y'all was like looking at something else. 
No, I'm looking at something else. <laughs> I am keeping you in a place that you can look at so that you have something to look at. I mean, I could just do. Oh, no, you're, you're fine. Oh, <laughs> oh, well, that's fine, too. But, you know, it's kind of the same type of situation. I was just giving you a, like, this is where you guys are. <laughs> Nope. You were you were where you were attended. So harbor agents could help just coordinate things around be like the uh communications, the, the runners. Yeah, I feel like we need at least some form of communication between the groups, otherwise there might be not know where like if they're done in one spot they might they won't know where to go like or think oh we should go over to this area but this area doesn't need help anymore because they, they will definitely say there is a massive army surrounding the cult the the well of dragons you guys are supposed to be infiltrating that they basically they're gonna put, all these other factions are basically going to take everybody else's attention and Attention so that you can get into one of these entrances to go in and stop the ritual. Ah, is, is, yeah, is the goal. Understand. <laughs> so I think my original plan of gaseous form in my bottle through the crack might be after the ritual. Um. Would we have uh, access to like sending stones or something? We do. Okay. We need we need some some talky talky rocky. I have a sending stone in my bag. I think we can just ask for a bunch of sending stones if we return them, so we can communicate. So, uh, Gemma come up, uh, comes up to you and and says, "Oh, by the way, I got these these things." And she hands you um, some little, some little uh, looks like looks like a little pearl. It says, All "Right, if you put this up to your put this in your ear, it won't block it won't block it, so you can can hear things. But if you touch it, you can think of who you want to." to uh, uh, talk to, and you can whisper uh, to, to other peoples. Basically, it's kind of like casting the message spell. Yeah. It, has one, it has a mile radius, and it's only attuned to, uh, connected to this set. And there's enough for uh, each of you. In addition, and she pulls out another box, uh, we do have... Uh, she pull, pulls out actually a, a bigger box. It says, "We can, we do have <laughs> essentially, um, we do have. We also have have these. These are some sending stones. These have been connected by a, a specific a specific network, so that each of the factions can have one, and you can have one person communicate between each one." So you, Power of Faith can have one, um, the Eyes of Fire will have one, the Harpers will have one, the Lords of Alliance Army will have one, the etc. I'll come out of the cell, grab mine, grab yeah. mine, the pearl. Just appear out of the shadows. <laughs> but there actually wasn't any shadows. You still... It, you, you can still you still need to speak to use the thing you, t you touch it to to activate it and you can you still need to speak but you can speak as a whisper and it will sound like normal to to anybody else that's going to we don't have to yell that's good good so is there like a sound that uh comes before you start talking or is is it just your voice 
It's just your voice. Basically, it's like the message message spell, except no limits in what you're saying, um, and it only goes to these. No, go on, go on, go on, sorry. So it's like group call. Have we tried scrying the temple by any chance? Uh, we we've had people attempt that, and they were unsuccessful. Alright, so I guess everybody knows what their job is. Next part is to muster our forces and uh, and head out. Uh, I suggest Skyreach Temple stay, or Skyreach Castle uh, stay in the rear and uh, try to stay hidden in the clouds as much as possible. myself to uh, Gemma by yeah. any chance you wouldn't mm. happen to have potions of flying right mm, not on me I don't have any stock right now oh. uh, the Harper agents to say flying to the well might be a little bit dangerous considering the skies are constantly patrolled by the chronic dragons I'm a hundred percent um, agreeing with that, but if inside there are smaller dragons that are flying, um, and I'm just looking at myself, I'm like, I'm not really great at flying. Like, Don't you have uh, the knuckles? That that just enlarges her. Yeah. Oh yeah. If only if if only it gave me flight speed. I wish. I wish. You can give someone else flight speed. Yeah. Um, Fastball special. Would it's not control flight speed, but it's flight. Would any of you? And I turn my head to the um, uh, what's the name of the mages? The uh, Arcan Brotherhood. Okay. Do any of you would happen to have a scroll of flying? Uh. Uh. Uh, no, unfortunately, we don't have any scroll uh, scribed at this time. Okay, um, so not here. It would take a while for us to procure one of those. What time is it right now? Uh, it's probably evening. Probably late, like late afternoon, evening. So it's tomorrow, right? We're going for there. Yeah, I'm planning to go as soon as possible. We don't. Know, they don't know where the process of they are of the ritual. Like, they don't even know if they've started, or if they haven't started, or they started a while ago, and for some reason they haven't quite gotten to the finished component, but... I'd like to use my vacation day to all of this. <laughs> God damn it. No. Um, so, are, are we done with the meeting, or... Yeah, I think everybody's been assigned. Uh, we will muster our forces and head out tomorrow morning. We we do. It will probably take a few days to actually get to the well. Um, I'd like to find Gemma if she has a left of or whatever. Yeah, she probably went back to her workshop. Much a, a, a bag that has an uh, endless amount of little pouches in it. Yeah. I mean, I can give you a bag of holding and throw a bunch of pouches in it. Look, look, it's it's hard enough to make a repeating shot item. 
which is essentially something of endless eras. Making something like a bag, which has like mini bag, an endless supply of mini bags, that's not as easy as you might think. I mean, I could try, but it's never been done before. Just an idea. I, it's a weird idea, but I suppose. Boy? Yeah. Hey, Mama. I know you don't like it, but I think you're going to have to take uh, example on key trick at some point. Um, you need a bow. A bow? Like, why would I need a bow? Well, you can still move towards your targets and stab them when you're near, but when you're too far, you can... Ready I, can I can throw them. Huh? I can throw a oh, knife. Yeah, they might be far. I mean, if they're far, you could do things like, like just pop it in the dragon form and fly there. Boom. You have a point. Because unlike you, I can fly. Uh -huh. you're, getting, you're getting cocky, aren't you? Huh? Lemon says... Lemon cocky, says... Eh? <laughs> hey, you, you, you heard Lemon? He's always cocky! <laughs> Shut up, Lemon! But I'm just gonna shower him with love. You know the kind of mother love? Ah! Mom, no, don't! Oh. Uh, I've seen you grow. I've seen you breathe your first breath. You'll always be my little boy. Well, I hope I will always be your little boy. Although I'll probably get bigger. You'll always... Always be I mean, have you seen Layden? He's like, Cribs, baby. I, 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 both. And if he's not careful, and he he ends up angering Kriv, he's gonna get it. I don't think Layden can do that. He's, it's been a thousand years. I'm sure. I'm sure he picked up some of your your bad things just thinking about you. No, Layden's always been the good one. I know. That's why you're my baby, my favorite. Uh, I mean, I mean, even after like spending a thousand years with a really pissed off, pissed off Krebus, I mean, you would think he probably would have gotten a little irritated, but he c came back like this, like amazing, like paladin y thing. He got resolved. Oh, he's um, maybe maybe it's genetic because of of his dad. Who knows? Although his dad gets kind of angry at times, but probably for other reasons. Any whom? Let's. He just never actually goes to <laughs> Lemon pokes you. Uh, Keith, we we do have a room for you. It's upstairs. I can show you. Can I, mean, I mean, if you need if you need me to change change like the layout or something, we could, we could do that. Uh, it would only it wouldn't take very long. You don't have to do anything. It'd be like like if you don't like the bed that's there, we could get you like a hammock or or something like that. It'd be all your room. It even has a lock. I'll just follow him. <laughs> follow Lemon to, to your room. Okay. It takes you, it takes you to the room. It's, it's not nothing special, but it's a nice room. Got a got a like a a, a queen size bed. Is green. <laughs> There's a floor mat. <laughs> it's, the, it's the most plain bedroom ever made. <laughs> it's beige and green. I mean, it, again, if you, you want any like adjustments to the room, just let me know. We'll take it. Like, like if like 
do do you not like the bed? I I could take the bed out and like put something else in if you want, or you know. Her. Her. Um, I'll say thank you and close the door and lock it. Hey, good night. Please. The nose just falls to the fucking floor. You hear outside, cats are so weak. <laughs> um, I think I still have time to check uh, a scroll shop in town. I'm. I could be lucky. Girl. Uh Jump generator. Propolis. Clearly there's a there's a, a scroll shop. <laughs> Craig Ray, east of uh, Major Crossroads. Uh with the neighbors to clear the tavern called the Archer and Wayne and a fine home of a young gnome named Gale. There's a sh- there's a two-story uh, timber, timber and brick building with several stained glass windows. A uh, collection of adventurers' maps hangs on the walls, and, and you see a sign that says, says "Mary's Mystical Scriptorium." You walk in and you find the shopkeeper of a tall, tall female uh, human, um, which has a, who has a name tag that says "Mary." She goes, oh, hello, how may I help you? Um, I might need scrolls. Oh, well, I only have a certain stock right now. Uh, Was there anything that you were specifically looking for? Um, well, I'm... Flight would be useful. Um, a scroll of earthquake. Mm. I know you're going to say no, but a sister's going to ask. Let's see here. Earthquake would... Well, I, I have, um, the, let me just run you through what I have. Uh, so, uh, I have contagion, um, dark vision, uh, detect magic, druidcraft, firebolt. Uh, I do have two for greater restoration. Those come in really handy. Uh, I do have an hypnotic pattern. Uh, I do have a minor re- illusion and rave of feeb- feeblement. Um, I also have this this tome of clear thought and tome of clear understanding if you're looking for those type of books. The tome of clear understanding, it's the um, the intelligence one, right? Uh, I believe so. Well, of course I'm going to take the tome. And um, people mind you said Mm, no. Uh, Ray of Enfeeblement. Oh, Ray of Enfeeblement. It was good, too good to be true. Uh, you do notice that she did not point to to a locked box that is like on a on a shelf right behind her. So I'm gonna ask about the box. Oh, well, well those are very specific. They're they're very expensive. Uh, but I do have. The higher level ones, like, would I mean, they're very, very expensive. Uh, shape change, tsunami, and weird. I'm gonna take tsunami. How much for the tsunami and the tome? What am I saying? It's called ready. It's okay. They're they're probably uh, they're gonna they're probably super like pricey, so yeah. just say like. Let's see. The uh, really? do this. Cool. So the uh, tome of understanding. That's what you were looking for. Let me, let me actually double check to make sure they were there. <laughs> yeah, go go go. <laughs> that works. No, it's like, like a, a, a tome of. Pretty sure an uh, understanding is the. No, it's the wisdom one. 
Understanding. Uh, understanding is wisdom, and then I think clear thought is the... Clear thought is intelligence, yes. Intelligence. So, the term of clear thought is uh, uh, 30,000 gold pieces. Okay. And the uh, spell, spell scroll of Tsunami will be 20,000 gold pieces. Okay. Uh, you said you had weird and you had. Shape change. Shape change. Well, I'm not an expert in uh, in spells, but I do have um, money to spend. How much for everything? For all three of them? No, no. All or for the like the entire? Yes. <laughs> oh. Just make just make a random like. Uh, would you be okay with hundred thousand? Hundred fifty thousand. Sold. All right. You're gonna, she's gonna be rich in one second. There you go. So let me let me, let me just copy and paste this. Exactly. And then you get, there you go. There you go. That's the entire list. <laughs> that's perfect. All right. So that's uh, that's good. We're gonna be oh greater. I, I didn't understood the greater restoration. Greater restoration is gonna be great. Yeah. There's two of them. That's great. And the, and the nice thing is that you can give it to Zid, and Zid, it just means Zid can do it without a uh, spell slot. Without a spell slot and material components, because when you're writing it, you're using a material component for it. <laughs> he also has like 47,000, 4,700 diamonds. Yes. <laughs> Actually, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Cinder loves rich. He is. He probably has uh, more. Yeah. Oh. Bigger ones. Now, now a lot of a lot of what what Zindralov has has for diamonds is just that amount in diamonds, not a diamond. <laughs> Weird is a illusion spell that takes an action to cast, which is verbal and somatic, that does psychic damage to a group of enemies, and it frightens. It's pretty pretty nice. Well, let's see. Eh, what does it say? This bag of holdings got a lot of diamonds in it. <laughs> All right. Um, I need to write down all the spells. Mm hmm I mean, I don't have time to read for the the, the manual, so it's going to be boys again. <laughs> boys going to be like a, like his sister, reading books left and right. Uh, wasn't he in the process of reading one? Yes, he's probably going to be done by tonight, I guess. Uh, yeah, just consider him done. Wasn't wasn't that the uh? Wasn't that clear thought? Uh, no, it was uh, the strength one. Oh, okay. So he's just me a stronger row. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's just nice to know that he's gonna have a plus two in his strength. Even though he doesn't really use it for anything. <laughs> well, he. Could I mean, if he if he if he has a strength check or something, but I mean that's about it. It's a strength save, yeah. Weird stat to dump stuff into for a rogue. I, or, I have you. That was a good roll. It was a great roll. All right, anything else? No, that's that's it for me. Okay, cool. Uh... Well, just for the luck, I'm not going to buy potions in, in everything. If there's a flying potion that you roll by chance. Because we're going against dragons. Probably they're going to have flying enemies. 
dragons will be primarily taken care of by the metallics, though. You're right, but I fear. Well, I I don't know. I don't know how it is. So if you tell me there's no dragon, then it's it's useless. But at the same time, I fear that they're gonna set dragons to protect the rituals. We don't know. That was weird. Uh. Um, so at some point during the night, Captain mm -hmm. leaves his room and gets him a glass of milk. Cool. Okay. Good. Oh. Okay. So, slight update. Yes. Um, some people can... From Waterdeep... It is about 837 miles, or 1,345 kilometers. That's a lot. To the Canadians. For travel between Waterdeep and your destination is the Well of the Dragons. It is literally going to take about a month. It's going to take a month? Okay. Uh, walking at normal pace. And actually, it's the based off of my little tool that that uh, thanks to a uh, certain someone I found, I <laughs> determined the distance and the travel time. Well, I'm it's gonna... thirty four days and seven hours. Of course, fast and slow. And then you've also got like armies and everything. Uh, people are probably positioning from different places, so like. Uh, Baldur's Gate and Ultraguard probably. Uh, uh, are going to be closer, and then they, they can start their staging. People are coming from different directions, but from Waterdeep, it, uh, as the dragon flies, it only would take about like three or four days to travel. 
but it's going to take a while. So you would have time on the road with the company. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize how that was. I'm, that was I'm a really gonna, handy map. It's not going to change the fact like we're not just going to arrive and like it's destroyed. Like the, the ritual is done. Of course not. That wouldn't cause drama. That would cause trauma, not drama. There's a difference. Yes. So I'm going to uh, give information that I, I just bought those spells. Uh, you end up... Uh, the Arcane Brotherhood does deliver a scroll of fly. Okay. No. Which would probably be fly one of the rogues. Right yeah. Fly would probably be a... One of, I think the rogues can use it with their use magic item. Right? Anyone can use scrolls. From my understanding, it has to be in your spell list. I can use it then. Okay, so Squaw can do it. And if it, I, I think you'd also have to be like a spellcaster oh. or something well, like that. It's just that you need to make an Arcana check when you cast it if you, if you don't. Like if it's, it's not on your style list or if you don't or you don't Yeah, you have to make a check. Yeah. I think I should be fine. <laughs> pretty good with our with the Arcana. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty good in in Arcana. Like I got a plus ten. Yeah, or you could just have Wall use it because yeah. you can cast it on anybody. Just You're, you don't have to you don't even have to worry about a roll. <laughs> Yes. Uh, um, by the way, I'm just uh, making um, the lists. I'm I'm updating the the names of the scrolls to be what are the scrolls. Yeah, I just gave you the list. You do whatever you yeah. want with it. Yeah, but I need to update, like, because it, it, when you add it on D and D Beyond, it's just spell scroll eight level. Oh, gotcha. So yeah, you got to do some customization. Yeah, I'm editing. Yeah. I mean, you could just note that you have it. <laughs> you don't have to directly have it. So, I would definitely say that during this journey, you would definitely be able to t take the time to read tomes. So, anybody need wisdom? <laughs> wisdom? Mm -hmm. Do you need wisdom? Would you would you like uh, an extra two points in your wisdom score? <laughs> I could, but uh, if anyone else that actually needs it wants it, then no, you can have it. Just so, add it to your inventory, uh, tome of. Um, understanding and then just equip it yeah that's all you need to do So, um, Zinderov is going to have greater restoration scrolls. Oh, actually, you know what? That would actually be beneficial for Zin. Yes. A okay. tome of understanding. Yes, he's a cleric, goddammit. So, uh, question, Catherick, would you mind if Zin took it? Oh, no, of course I would. Yeah. 
I keep forgetting. Who's gonna mind if the if the uh, the medic is gonna heal more? I mean, uh, I'm a player first first person, and <laughs> this player's not here. Yeah. Um. So. Standing. I'm just I'm just sad that um, um, Justin is not gonna be there. He's been there for the whole story, and he's gonna miss the ending. But at the same time, it's it's a personal choice. So, you know. I can watch the uh, song that you want me to watch on my phone. That's not happening today. I don't have the time. What is? Something. It's okay. Uh, All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I I just heard what you said. It's okay. It's okay. Um, you have the right to say those kind of things. So we are oh, there we walking go. or whatever there. Yep. Well, well, you're it, you guys aren't alone. Right. Um, I I know I'm not a ranger anymore, but mm. but I still know how to like hunt. Yep. I would like to, unless we have food and stuff. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, they you're you're with an army, so they. They are. They've been provisioning everything, okay. so you don't have to worry about food, food and water. Zindralov can create food and water. Yeah, that too. But if you want to go, just go hunting for fun, and or, or have like. Specific type of food that they do, they're not providing because you know this is Can I army food. Scout uh, ahead and stuff like stay stay ahead of everyone and mm -hmm. scout. Sure, you got thirty days to do it. Dogs. See a pack of wolves. Yeah. As you're as you're the one that asked for a dog. As you're um there at the same time. As you're scouting out and and finding some some small small creatures and befriending them. Uh I would like you to roll me an animal handling check. First, they, they sense you're there for dogs. Cool. Um, you befriend uh, uh, quite a few uh, creatures. Uh, you do see, you did run into a uh, little puppy wolf, <laughs> who seems to be abandoned or something. It's kind of whippering. It looks kind of thin. Sure. I have a bunch. Uh, he is emaciated. Uh, he has not like it's very young. You could say only maybe a, a couple months old of that. Uh, and it must not be. It was just hide, kind of hiding in some brush. Uh, um, and it's all covered in barbs and and stuff. Very not well groomed. It's very he was very dirty. I have ten days of rationing. I will give him however much he wants. Yeah, and you can easily like the 
uh, do some hunting or something to to get him some more food. Uh, if you show them to to Zen, Zen will help out taking care of him. Just give me cl clean clean him up. Okay. Uh, you can add yourself a uh, pet of a wolf. Wolf puppy. Catherick now has his dog. But he's also like three and a half years old, or, or three three months old. He's 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 not old at all, so he he can't really do anything. <laughs> Besides, look cute. Yeah, just 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 note that he's a puppy, so he's like a size lower. <laughs> Ketherick now has the dog that he actually wanted. <laughs> Yay. I don't know. Would you would you ask Hyundai and servants who are typically there to, to serve you food? Okay, if you would like a dog. A <laughs> uh, boy comes over and see, sees you and, and taking care and care of this dog. Oh, it's durable. And he starts scratching the ears. He, 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 help, he, 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 he just gets like, excited that we want to play with him. Uh, you do get, like, uh, uh, you do see uh, Lemon actually uh, comes up to Zindrolov while a uh, uh, boy is playing with uh, your puppy. Uh, and, and he goes, Hey, are you done with that book? And he goes, This one? Uh, yes, I just finished this. And she goes, Okay, uh, I'll. Mind if I take it? I mean, it doesn't do anything for right now. So, I mean, it's kind of useless. It's just a book. Oh, well, yeah, sure. And he hands the book over to her and says, Okay, thank you. And she puts it into a satchel. And she, she, you see her walk away going, Another book for the whole. Well, she. I mean, the the feet the feet are the the feet are well, elephant esque. Uh, I look at some verify what or loxodons. Oh wow! They have regular hands. Yeah, but it's like how many fingers? Yep, he he has three fingers and a thumb, but I believe their feet are much more like a traditional elephant foot. Yes. Okay. Just wondering. I had a picture in my head and it was disturbing. And blood. Question. Uh, Lemon will also come up to you after a few days, Frederica, and says, Hey, are you done with that book you were reading? I mean, if you're not, it's fine. I'm just wondering. Hey, can I have it? Uh, yes. Let me, let me go get it. I'm going to give it to you again. Okay. Excellent. By the way, uh, was, how about that other book? Did, wasn't there like a strengths one that you had? Did, did, did you read that or like? Uh, Give me a I'm looking for it. Yes. Okay. Can can I have that one if that's done? Yes. Give me. Okay. Excellent. Okay. So um, I'm gonna try to sneak into boy's room. 
Oh, well, you. It, this is like while you're on the road. Um, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna has to lead to has boy to put the the book back in my my bag. Lemon wants it. Oh, oh okay. Oh. Otherwise, she's gonna know. He he kind of like switches it out. You don't want her to know. You know how to read. Oh, it, it's it's not that I don't want her to know how to read. It's, I want her to know that I read. Like I, I need to like be able to read stuff, but like not books. I mean, normally I'm not much of a bookish sort of person, but you know, there's some things that. Are... Did you uh, did you learn some good things? Oh yeah, to make it strong. How to do push-ups? It's a it's a book on how to do push up push-ups. Yeah, check this out. And he starts doing like one-handed push-ups with his, like one of his arms behind his back. Dang. He can only do like like twenty-five, but then he's like, uh, oh, uh, uh, okay, that's bad. Oh, I don't know if that I can do. Whew. So I'll give uh, Lemon the book to be like, why do you need those though? Well, they they're not magical or anything right now, right? Because you read them, right? So yeah, so they're kind of useless right now. So I, I'm just keeping them on here. She oh. puts them in, and you you hear her mumble to herself as you're as she's walking away. Or books for the horde. <laughs> she's gonna have a tome of all of them. Uh, she is. She's a librarian. No. Necessarily. Why are you naming him after Fuck Buddy? Like, are you naming it after him? Are you calling it Fang? With the uh, same I was, name. I was thinking about calling him Fang. Oh, that's sweet. I had this whole, like, out of body experience. It was great. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they, 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 some of the, the artillery and, and other military-esque stuff have some, some sort of carts. I will keep Fang there whenever uh, I'm not. I, I will say, yeah, I'll say that you guys have uh, probably have a, a, maybe a cart and a wagon to drive. They're like, we're not going to have you actually physically walk the entire way. You pro probably also have, like, your own... Horses. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep Fang in the wagon or the cart, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll play with him occasionally. Um, can, can I give him like a, a Python shoe on or whatever? I don't know. I mean, uh, Pythons are uh, uh, metal. I don't think it would be really good for Probably dogs to chew on. You can give them like a stick or something. We are outside, aren't we? Mm hmm. <laughs> it's like we're traveling. Yeah. I think that's going to be. Honestly, shape change is going to be perfect. <laughs> if somebody can cast it. <laughs> I believe uh, it's a DC 19 or uh, uh, spellcasting uh, check or kind of check. I think it's up to you. Because I believe it's uh, 10 plus the level of the spell. Yeah, it's an arcana, uh, arcana check DC 10 plus spell level. So yeah, it's a DC nineteen. Mm, that's what I said. I have, I have plus ten plus one D four because of um, uh, of the Velalkin. I would almost say, personally, um, yeah. See, Squall would be able to use his charisma modifier. Um, 
I mean, I would even put that as I, I would even consider that as a um, a uh, charisma arcana check. Which I don't know if you're proficient arcana at all, but no, uh, me I'm proficient with arcana, but no, I'm talking about squall. Okay, I'm like no, yeah, I'm no. Sure. I'm I'm proficient in Arcana. Yeah, so I would probably, if in your case, when casting it, it would be using your spell casting versus intelligence. So you would be using charisma instead. See, that's the nice thing about the skills is while there's usually some sort of base uh, stat to each each of them, like this is like the standard that you would use for the skill. Like, for example, uh, intimidation checks. Um, is listed as charisma, but you could do it strength instead of charisma, so that sort of thing. Depending yeah. on how you're intimidating, right? And, but I would think for for um, using a spell scroll, uh, I would use your spell casting. If you don't have a spell casting, it'd be just straight regular kind for you. Little extra buffer, short. Use your spellcasters. I mean, I mean, Zinn has a plus six <laughs> to his wisdom, so <laughs> for his wisdom, so. Yeah, sadly, sadly, the book of for charisma is no good. Yeah, it's no good anymore. <laughs> not well, not not anymore. Just for a while. Uh, guess guess who probably has that book right now? Because <laughs> Lemon would probably have asked Crypt, "Hey, Crypt, uh, I saw that you had a copy of uh, this this book. Um, did you use that? Yes. Uh, can I can I have it? <laughs> Another book for the horde. Oh well. Just wanna. Oh yes, I'm gonna become a. Yes, I can become a dragon." Fight dragons with dragons. Yep. Shave change. Yeah. Really big bell. Yeah, and I, I keep... My I mean, it's essentially... Yeah, it's it's essentially a polymorph. Better. But slightly better. I think you remember... I keep my, I keep my class and race role features. I remember all this. But... It's... Yes, so that dragon's gonna be able to action surge. Action surge dragon. Shit. Yes. Hey, mm -hmm. Um. Should I uh, just ignore uh, the wolf stat sword? Do you want me to like lower stuff? Um. Ignore the wolf stats. Um. He's too young to do any battle. Oh yeah, I, I wasn't gonna put him in battle. Yeah, you shouldn't. Like yeah, he. It's you. Just basically, you have a wolf in your inventory. <laughs> I did change him to small, and I did change his face up. Um. By the way, uh, so you. You see, uh, Lemon come, comes up, he sees a uh, Chiton uh, uh, playing with the puppy uh, while you're kind of observing. And he seems to be just playing with the puppy. He's He doesn't look like he wants to eat this dog at all. <laughs> Lemon says, hey, um, I, I see you're the, the puppy you have. What's his name, by the way? Bang. Oh, that's so cute. Um, it, So... Like when you go into battle, I'm not really going into battle, um, because I'm a little young for that, and and I don't have like all the skills that like Chitana has. Um, uh, I can take care of him for you. I'll make sure. And if she pulls out this this silver dragon scale. We'll go hide. She is authentically offering you a service to make sure that no matter what, your dog will not be hurt at all during this battle. She is going to basically battle's going to start. She's going to open up the secret layer and go inside, <laughs> and she'll take care of the dog. <laughs> that works. Okay. 
Where I, I'm actually thinking of taking it onto the the um the uh, Skyreach, but it's probably be like we'll probably stay stay away. But um, I'll, I'll make make sure that everything is all safe and sound, no matter what. Thank you. And she walks away. She's in, in the in, this entire time. Lemon has been doing administrative duty, administrative duty, administrative duty, and these just these few things, and finding people that have just finished reading a book. And she goes, "Can I have that?" <laughs> she even offers to pay a couple people <laughs> some for books. Well, she's she's politely asking. Okay. She sees somebody with a book, and she might see him close it, and she'd be like, "Hey, is that book good? Are you done with it? Can I have it? I can pay you for it." <laughs> so she's 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 doing some minor. She's not really pushing people or anything, but if there's a if there's a book that she could take off from some uh, take off from somebody. And obviously, as you're going along this, because she's she's been bringing along the secret lair, uh, uh, you guys can can basically have a great sleep because you can go into the secret lair. Yeah. Uh, it has been slightly modified um, uh, during this time. Uh, the vault is still the vault. Nothing has changed about that. But uh, rooms have have slightly changed, maybe even gotten a little bigger and and such. Um, you did see that some of the that more books have been added to the library, and we don't mean like physical books, but the replication of somebody reading more books. Um, so it's becoming a much more diverse set. Uh, you do notice a specific. A uh, book stand which doesn't isn't full of books, but it has some books, and you will notice that it does have the Tome of Clear Mind or Clear Thought, Tome of Understanding. It, basically, everything that she's collecting, she's kind of like has her own bookshelf. So she's only missing two, right? Uh, three. Three. She has strange. Oh, no, she has no, strange no, yeah, yeah. So she's only two. Yeah, and she'll be able to. They will be useful again in like a thousand years, or something. I forgot what it is. Hundred, maybe. I don't remember. Bodily health and quickness of action. No, but I. Now that I think about it, a dragon that his hoard is books. If he collects them six books, he can just raise his stats till infinity and beyond. No, as a girl. Yeah, but like, Jesus. If they live that long. Yeah, if. <laughs> uh, I'm good. Does Squall do, do anything on this month long journey? Nothing of note. I guess we're going to. Start back tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow, uh, next session with the whole fight, or do you want to start tonight? Well, I mean, I'm going to be, we, we still got some time, but I'm just saying about for, for travel, what if you want to accomplish, flavor stuff. Clearly, there, there, are, there are monsters that want to attack that whole army, right? <laughs> um, while, while we're traveling and while I'm playing with uh, Meg, doing whatever, could I like uh like check on everyone without actually talking to them? Look look around, make sure everyone's doing okay. Mental state and stuff. Just to see. Um in general everybody seems to be be well. You do see some people, you know, staying in shape and, and, and practicing you know, basically preparing for war. Uh, you see people uh, laughing and drinking during the campfires at night. Uh, of the the people you know, the Azvayo and um, 
and your team. In general, it seems to be a calm before the storm. And as you get closer to the well, things kind of tense up a little bit. Being like, shit's about to go down any moment now. So I'm going to distribute some spell scrolls. Now's the time. Can you take weird? Okay. I think you should find this one useful. Um. Key trick? Do you want to use tsunami or do you want to use shape change? Shape change would allow you to change it to a, like a big creature. But since you're ranged, it would not help, in my opinion. But at the same time, you can choose otherwise. What level? D uh, it's um, a level 9 for shape change. I meant for weird. Oh, level uh, 9 uh, e equally. Um, I don't think I'll be able to do that. Y Rogues have a trait for use a magic item. Yeah. You would still probably have to make the Dark Arcana check, but you can use the spell, the scroll. Where can I find that? Uh, I believe I it might be a, it's a feature. But I think it's thieves. Is it just thieves that can do? Yeah, they can do it in um, bonus actions. Maybe that was like a old edition thing. No, it's thief. Use magic device. By thirteenth level, you have learned enough about the workings of magic that you can improve the use. Improvise the use of items even when they're not intended for use. Yeah. So he wouldn't be able to use it. Yeah. I, I can if, keep it if you want. I don't mind. If Adrika does come over, as soon as I notice that she's coming over, I, I grab a thing and then hide him. <laughs> She's not gonna heed it. I don't know yet. <laughs> <sighs> you you are like a vicious person that I do not I'm a, a, I'm afraid of being around. <laughs> For, from Catholic's perspective. <laughs> a vicious person. Jeez. Yes, you are. <laughs> you are. I'll have to agree. You think you're a sweet, innocent, virtuous person? That's not the truth. Um. Hey, Mama! Look, there's <laughs> look. Keith has a puppy. Uh, Frederica, when you hand me the scroll for weird, I'm gonna hand you a scroll for protection from energy. Um. Need to verify this. I'm not sure for the spell. And uh, Zen's gonna get one too. Protection for a minute. Oh, nice. Oh, but it's concentration. Remember, you still have your fire resistance potion, guys. Yep. Everyone's supposed to have two of those. I don't. Uh, but I'm already resistant to it. And so is Zindralov. Zindralov is also immune to Frightened, which is great. Nice. Weird, weird is pretty neat. There it is. Mm. 
tsunami is gonna be uh, is gonna be a good use, but it's a minute casting time, unfortunately. And protection from energy. Third level. Immunity, frightened, poison, Re resistance, poisons, acid. Yay. Putting these spell scrolls in his documents is special. Hmm. He has one of them. Protection. Uh, in the, the whole month that we were going to be traveling, mm -hmm. uh, can I try to exalt uh, one of my artifacts? Mm, which one in particular? Um, I would like... Or just in general? Uh, just in general. One, one of them of your choice. I wouldn't mind, actually. Just... Uh, what are you going to try to do? Well, there are... Normally, they all have like a soul of themselves or they're inhabited. So, I'm gonna try to commune and uh, get their understanding and uh, make sure we're on the same page and that they want to be used uh, to good efficiency and like basically ask for uh, greater power. Well, I uh, think, I think the, roll me a, roll me a D one hundred. I think the the armor of the Valiant Soul would be the one I would like the most. Fifty seven percent. Nothing seems to happen. Okay. You take the time to do that, but yeah, yeah. It doesn't doesn't seem to do anything. I, I I did think of a a a chance on that, but in in work. Those two works. Uh, how many artifacts do you have? Uh, I have th uh, four of them. Four of them. Okay. Oh. Or only two into three of them, though, right? Yeah. Okay, so... Roll me... Do your stuff. Roll me a D3. Uh, one D3. Two. Your circulator barb vision exalts. Yay. I have an exalted version. Absolutely nothing. Uh, and if you, I can use it three times per uh, short or long rest. And 
I see invisible creatures and objects, actually. That's good. Yeah. Squall, did you roll a d100 to determine if any of your artifacts exult in? Of course. Oh, but... No, I, only have one. I only have one. It's okay. supposed to... I'm not supposed to be attuned to the circlet right now. Since we took out, we took it out last time when we did the, the um, social interaction. So I'm supposed to be... Well, it doesn't matter. You've had plenty of time to read attuned to it. <laughs> exactly. The question is, do you want to be attuned now to it? During this time, while you were doing all the, uh, while you were traveling, would you have attuned to the circular barb vision? No, probably, pro probably the glaive, but it, for what it changes. Okay. Uh, go ahead and put your correct attunements. We'll, we will adjust if necessary. Let's go with that. Yeah, because whenever I really got any. Okay. Right. Oh my god, I need this for my warlock. You know what? I, I'm not sure. Did I even... Did I do it? Yeah, I did. Uh, your Glaive of Storms exalts in that case. <laughs> Yay. I was doing it based off of how they show up as you, in your attunement slots. <laughs> oh, yeah. Makes sense. So. You can hit really hard. Yeah. And you got a couple extra features. I got one that is really great. All right. I can use the lightning strike and the thunderclap at the same time. <laughs> Sadly, Squall, the one one artifact you had does not exalt. Uh, Catherick, did you want to try rolling to to see if uh, one of your artifacts exalts? First, I will uh, roll an intelligence check to see if I even know. Uh, even understand what your people are doing. <laughs> That's for boy, so 31 probably doesn't do it. Nope. It's okay. He has Wrath of the Prison. All right. Sick. <laughs> Just doing for the lulls. All right. Nothing happens for Zen. Uh, because it's such a long term, uh, I will I will accept a second roll as a as an attempt for for an exaltation. Sadly, nothing happens for Zen. Squall, did you? Uh, I will go ahead and take your six. And you said you only have the one. Yeah, Deathwalker's ward. Yeah, it exalts. Hey, guess who can fly now? Yeah, fly. No. You could fly? Yeah. But now you but time. now you can do that with raven wings. <laughs> no, I also have my elemental gift. Oh. I can levitate as an air genasi, and then elemental gift gave me a fly. That's nice. So I have multiple ways I can fly. Yay. So if you lose one, you're fine. And Catherick isn't trying, so. Unless someone tells me, hey, did you know you could do this and that? So after no. I see that it works, I'll tell Catherick. Uh, all of a sudden, Catherick, you see, uh, for some reason, Squall is flying around with raven wings. Um, he, he's probably doing some sort of performance, I'm assuming. Yeah, you can yeah. check if you can attune, if you can connect with either or both of your bow and, and um, the key. No, but Catherick doesn't. Yeah, no, we're, we're, talk we're talking to Catherick. Oh, yeah, oh, get okay. in this is Squall. This is Squall and Frederica are talking to Catherick. Not, <laughs> not Dustin and Jordan talking. Buddy. Okay, well, I'll roll. Let me just. Uh, you, you wanna roll. Uh, just D100. You want to roll low? Okay, okay yeah. Okay, guess what? Both your items exult. <laughs> that's, that's one. I, I'm going to say this. This is very, very strange to say, but your, your nat one was a critical success. 
So now you can into, uh, or change your uh, Fentress Awakened to Fentress Exalted and the Infiltrator's Key, key, <laughs> key Awakened to Infiltrator's Key Exalted. Yeah, and I think, I think Fentress uh, Exalted is pretty, pretty great. Deathwalker's Ward Exalted is not in there yet. You only have to have the... Yeah, it is pretty nice. You know what? I, I, although it's probably not going to happen, but but it would be would been really co would be really cool if when uh, Teldor Reborn uh, releases on Darrington Press that it gets onto D and D Beyond. Yes, it would be. It's nice. it's unlikely <laughs> because it's not an official uh, Watsy book and not, wasn't on DMs Guild. <laughs> Although, I don't know if maybe people will be able to buy it through DM Skill, but that's beside the point, because I think you can still get the original Taldori book through DM Skill, too. But I would think that would be cool, and then have everything already incorporated so I don't have to create them. But uh, I will have to remember to. I'm going to guess Gemma would have had the time to finish the daggers. Daggers are finished. So boy is missing one in his collection and he's going to be sad about it. <laughs> we didn't get to kill a red dragon yet. So you see Layden or, or uh, boy go up to, to Layden who is who's like just kind of sitting out to the side watching his, his dads doing whatever they're doing. Um, and and this, Hey, um, Leyden? Yeah. Um, I know you're probably going to be helping out with the chromatic dragons, but if if you do get a chance to, um, see, kind of making this collection, and he shows his dragon teeth dagger, and it's the red one, right? Yeah, he doesn't okay. have no red one. If, if, if you're able to kill a red one, could I get one of its teeth? And it says, well, I'm not a fan of necessarily killing them. I was just going to work on distraction and support, but if one does fall, I'll make sure that we get you a teeth. No. Yeah! <laughs> and you just, just all of a sudden, you, you, you everybody here, here's his boy go, yeah! Okay, Thank you, Layden. Mama, Mama. Layden says that if if uh, if if they get a red dragon and the, when when they're flying around, uh, that that they, he'll get me one of their teeth, and then we can make, then I can have a complete set. Well, you're gonna have half of a complete set, right? Well, I mean, I'm not sure how easily the game would like metallics were, and that would just be kind of weird. But they're like good guys, right? Some probably lose teeth at some point. You're just gonna have to acquire them another way than killing them. Well, that might be really weird. Um, I'm gonna go ask. And goes running off. Just the little boy asking, "You just dragon? Can I have a teeth?" <laughs> Elliot. <laughs> Elliot is, is somewhere around being kind of like still still acting as liaison for the actual metallic metallics. And all he says, goes, so it's Miss Elia, uh, ma'am, ma'am. And he's trying to be kind of like really deferential. It's really weird for boy, but he's also doing it very like, like nervously, excitedly. <laughs> I got a question. See, so, so I've been collecting these. And he shows some, some dragon teeth. Uh, the dragon tooth daggers and i'm wondering i was wondering if like um um you you uh older dragons uh, ever like like lose some teeth on occasion that that maybe i could get like more oh i never thought about that this would be excellent gifts actually for some of our friends we don't really have any right now. Usually they end up getting discarded and everything, but um, we'll keep an eye out for you. 
Thank you, Miss Elliot. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And he, he just kind of like, I, I'm sorry to bother you. Bye. And he just kind of like runs off and he's like giggling to himself. Mama said they would give me some teeth if they have one. But they don't really have any right now? Yeah. Just bump. <laughs> well, let's not hope it happens. But well, I mean, I mean, like, I, I'm going to hope that it ends up happening, but not for any, like, a purposeful reason. Like, there was an accident, it fell out, or, you know, maybe. Yeah, we're going in the hard battles. Some teeth might get knocked off. Yeah. Ooh. Maybe I'm just going to have to sneak through the battlefields. Keep an eye out. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to be with you, so it's going to be hard to keep an eye out. Because we're, we're like, going to go in, room. right? We're going to have time afterwards. I'm not scared. Check out the battlefield. Yeah. Who knows? Um, uh, if you want to go with the whole um, gaseous form thing uh, in, in your bottle, if, if we can't be in your bottle while you're not in bottle you're I good have gases form now so if well, I, had, in... I had potions to give someone like i had two potions of gases form that someone could use and then you wouldn't have to cast one you just drink it yeah yeah and it just does it so then you just use the potion i get it if you want in a bottle the person holds onto the bottle and then drinks the potion and then just goes through because while you're in the bottle, you're considered an item. Yep. Wow, the first thing of the key is so good. So good. Yeah, we're opening there. <laughs> All right, so um, uh, we will start getting the introduction because I, I, we definitely don't have much time to, to actually go into the actual stuff but we'll we'll get to the entrance of where we're gonna go to I think, here. I think boy would be the kind to look at Bamith without realizing it's Bamith and it's like oh of... Bahamut's not there Bahamut's not there no of course not but like he would be the, the kind of person to like go see him not realize it's him and ask for a thief I mean he's met him yeah I mean, he 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 de he delivered a couple souls to him, <laughs> so he's actually seen him in person. <laughs> oh, uh, boy. Yeah. I'm just saying, but in case that we get to kick Tiamat's ass, in case. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some teeth laying around. So, I mean, dragon god's teeth. Oh, well, I'm not sure about that. I mean, she's a god, so like her whole... I don't think it works that way. Well, we're, we're going to know if she comes out. Oh, we'll see. Hopefully she doesn't. I mean, that would kind of be bad. But don't you want to kick your ass? Look, I met Bahamut, and I wouldn't want to face him in a fight. And just think of, like, Tiamat, which I think, uh, I, I honestly, I asked um, about his sister, and he said she has five heads. Oh, that could mean she's more stubborn than me. I know, she's that big-headed. That's like five of you. Oh, God. Oh, God. No. Yeah, I definitely want to kick her ass. Okay. Do we want to kick her ass, or do we want to just, like, make sure she doesn't get here in the first place? Let's make sure she doesn't get out, but if she does, let's make sure that she wants to leave by herself. I mean, technically, we know where she is, right? Down there. Yeah. I mean, it would be a little, you know, you have to take a plane shift jump or something like that. And then, then you have to, like, get through this whole hellscape and and then find the thing. It's, then she probably even has some dragons around, around her her place down at Vernus, and then you have to get to her, and then it's her lair. Right. I mean, that's kind of another problem, so it's a little difficult. 
I mean, how would you be able to kill a god? Like, can you can you even do that? I'm sure it can be done. Probably really difficult, though. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> Keith are definitely doesn't know. Gizark's never heard of a god dying. Is there a whole history? Nope. 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 Uh -uh. You're not. You're not that familiar with the history of Faerun. No. Uh, as for gods in general, uh, there have been gods that have been destroyed, but usually it's, you need to be like super powerful for something like that to happen and sometimes they don't really get destroyed it's more of disapparated and like they have to like build up they get demoted you know and like recharge sort of thing and then once they reincorporate re then their power's back but it gets but that can take like millennia anyways Moving on, <laughs> so we get at least a... <laughs> when we're gonna be holder boy, we're gonna pay her visit in her place and wreck her house, okay? Uh, can we wait until like a thousand years from now? <laughs> I'm gonna be a sizeless laden because that would help. <laughs> Anyways, uh, moving on into as you're getting closer, you find that little remains in the territory surrounding the Well of the Dragon. And the constant drone of the Drakhorn has forced the local animals to flee or or driven them mad. A handful of villages in the area are bloodshed ghost towns, and every farmstead is a charred ruin. The few survivors you encounter are headed in the opposite direction, all of them watching the sky for the telltale shape of the dragon. And you have accompanying you uh, a, a group of dragons in humanoid form, uh, metallic dragons in humanoid form, and they're kind of keeping watch in the sky. There's also a group of them are on um, Dyrich Castle, which is currently hidden amongst the clouds. So right now. Right now, you don't necessarily have to worry too much about dragon attacks. If a dragon comes comes by, there will be one or more countermeasures to any any dragons that patrol out too far. Uh, I'm gonna make sure when it hits the bank, and I'll keep watching. Uh, I would like somebody to roll me a d20. I got it. I got it. Three. Oh god. It's okay. I would like you to either roll me a... Actually, no. It's just... I don't need a roll. Um, no dragon attacks that you could tell this day. You could say you're about... Five days away from the main host, and where you actually have to get into where everybody will end up basically getting a position and then attack. But uh, this day seems to be clear skies. Um, Kriv, Krebus, and all of the uh, metallics are getting very uncomfortable, and everybody now hears this. Constant droning sound as they get closer to the Well of the Dragons. Is it traveling? It is. Probably, you'd say. I mean, it's just this constant drone. It's like, for some reason, it's just like. Somebody's blowing this horn or the drac horn just 
continuously. No stop. No like. It's just. That's it. And uh, for day two, I would like somebody to roll me a d20. I'll do it. <laughs> More clear skies. You do. You probably can start seeing some just really far in the distance. You do see some shapes flying through the sky. But they don't seem to be heading in your direction. Uh, day three. Uh, Ketrick, roll me a d20. 20. Good job, Ketrick. Good job. All right, roll me a d4. <laughs> Ketrick is trying to kill us. All right, cool. Exactly. I know, but I think Tiamat doesn't have a, a fly speed. <laughs> Excuse me? No, sorry. No, she doesn't have the legendary action to fly. <laughs> My bad. Unlike all the other dragons that can just wing and flap flap away, she doesn't have it. Okay, as long as she has the fly speed, I'm okay with that. <laughs> yeah, I think she has big ass wings. I don't know where I could see those. I almost got scared by my own hand. Uh, Keith, grow me a D5. Base one D five or D five. Cool. As you're you're approaching, you see four. Dragons heading your direction. Uh, three of them are being handled by uh, another group, but you will be essentially your group are attacked by one. Three. Yeah, okay. I'm going to just move you to the battle map. Yeah. yeah, just because I didn't take the time to create. It's okay. He's a square boy. Um, is that symbol a part of his creature or? Uh, no, it's a um, it's when he's um uh. Ghost walking. Oh, he's got the long swing. <laughs> and I'm gonna need you all to roll initiative. So you're getting an encounter where you where you fight an adult. Boy's well, like, oh, I was hoping for a red one. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, this isn't going to last very long. <laughs> Basically, uh, we have the cinematic thing of these dragons kind of flying in, just kind of like in a line, practically spread out a bit. And this one just comes in and lands and roars, and then we have an animation that shows that you've entered a battle. <laughs> yeah. I love Pokemon. <laughs> a, a, a wild adult tree, <laughs> green dragon appeared. <laughs> Frederica. You're up first. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go here in the whack. <laughs> whack away. Okay, give me a second. There's something not working correctly. All right, that should do. Okay. Oh, whack. Uh, but it doesn't. It's okay. Need to go with this sheet, fortunately. Are you looking for damage? No. Because uh, I will definitely hit. Is not giving me the um. Um, what's the name? Great weapon fighting. Oh, there you go. For uh, you're using the. Wait, wait. Anyways, it hits. Uh, so we got. Uh, first attack. Second attack. Yeah, second attack. That'll definitely hit. Third attack. Oh. You're not at advantage, right? I don't have advantage right now. Yeah, so. It's gonna miss. That miss. So sad. It's okay, boys up. Um, I still have my uh, bonus action. Oh, okay. And if he wants action surge. Yeah. That'll hit. High five. And five. And because I can, action surge. Um, yeah, I'm gonna action action search, and I'm gonna uh, coordinate attack. Uh, you can't because boy, unless boy throws, yeah, because he can't move as part. He can't move as part of part of the coordinated assault. He has to be right next to it. Yeah. Uh, and it's gonna. So he can throw. Range. Okay. Just regular at the uh, no uh, boy's turn. Not not even gonna. Okay, not gonna coordinate assault. I mean, you can still action surge and do normal attack, round of attacks. No, it's okay. Okay. So, boy is going to go there and attack. Because he can. It's flaking advantage. Yeah. Um, he's going to use the black one. Okay. That's a crit. Oh, on the log. Ugh, that's so ugly. So many ones. Is, is that D and D Beyond rolling that damage? Yeah. There's got to be a setting there that turns the crit thing off or something. It just adds everything together. Because this is really hard to read. Sorry. Flanks around and uh, starts killing it. Uh, I mean... Second attack. Not gonna hit. Uh, 19? Does 19 hit? 19 does hit. Not hiding the sneak attack on this one, though. Mm -hmm. yeah. I thought... Boy, Black and white. Boy is probably gonna be like, why can't you be red? <laughs> <laughs> why aren't you red? <laughs> uh, 
and it's uh, it's in the left stone. Okay. Brings on and says, "Huh." Tries to shoot a guiding bolt and misses. He's like, shit. <laughs> Keith are... Gonna peek around Zenderlov. <laughs> no, I'm gonna move because I know dragons have a breath weapon. Uh, oh, he's gonna die anyway. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute, hold on. Pause. The end of Boy's Attack. What? I forgot. At the end of Boy's Attack. Gonna make, a, gonna make a tail attack on Boy. He wasn't very happy with that. So one Boy day, takes, 20, <laughs> takes 22 since damage. Attacks, since he attacks, he's gonna get attacked. Okay. By me. Because of Sentinel? Uh, yeah, because of Sentinel. Okay. So I guess 29 is going to hit. Yeah, 29 is going to hit. Well, how much is that? 35? So okay, cool. No. 35 plus 7. Don't, don't worry, Catherick. Uh, he did. <laughs> Zinderlove did not... Zinderlove did not spell, spend his spell slot because he was doing it after boy's turn. Yeah. So Your legend... His legendary... His legendary action... Was his death? <laughs> his hubris. Boy, boy was about to get hit, and I just. What do you think you're doing? But it doesn't still go through. No, actually, because he died because yeah, of your hit. Because your hit technically. Stands for, for so it was like whap, and you're like, "Don't do that to my boy." <laughs> Sister Frederica took out the chenkla. Mother Frederica. Yeah, Not sister anymore. Anyways. Sorry. That was... <laughs> that was the dragon attack. Uh, I need somebody to roll me a d6. Do it, Keytrick. You're good. Alright. Um, oh, the other uh, three dragons got uh, got taken down as well. Uh, uh, actually... Let's do this. Uh, highs or lows, Frederica? Lows? All right. Uh, roll me a d20. Aww. So we had a black, blue, and white dragon. Oh. No red dragons. They were taken off, but uh, they're... Fortunately, there were only three casualties. So, amongst them, casualties. Yes, no. there were there were people who died or got injured. Nope. Okay. No regular soldiers. Yeah, but still, like, you don't want none of those. Do I That's see one that? Anyway. Sister, full of blood, is just gonna turn around and be like, "Sorry, guys, it went faster than I thought." Uh, Lemon has been gone for the past couple of days because she set up the the secret lair uh, just at the end of the this blasted land. As long as I can't find her, I'm fine. You're just assuming she's already gone into the. Well, uh, you do feel, you do feel uh, that something is watching you. Uh, roll me an Arcana check. Wait a minute, can you see? You can see visibility right now, do you? Or who can see visibility? Me? Uh, no, not anymore. Okay. I thought somebody was able to see invisibility. Oh no, that was because of the circular bar, bar bridge, and I think that's what we were talking about. It. Yeah. Okay, never mind. I have blind sight. You have blind sight. Um, 
No, no. Nope. When you, you just get the sense that somebody is watching you. Um, you feel like somebody's watching you, but you're not ex exactly sure. Maybe a scry? Somebody's scrying on you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm right. Oh, well, was that Arcana check for the scry? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so I'll, I'll let everyone... You just, uh, you just can't tell, like, where you just get this feel this feeling it's almost like whoever's scrying on you wants you to know they're scrying on you which is weird when somebody tries to scry on somebody usually you don't want them to know but because of the whole sensor thing And uh, day four, I need, go ahead, Squall, throw me a, actually, no, we'll have Zinder Love roll it. Uh, another day of no dragon attacks. Day five approaches. And you are within sight of of the uh, Cult of the Dragons set up. Well, of the Dragons. Description. The caldera of a long dead volcano rises from an ashen plain ahead. Along the cinder cones, the steeply sloped sides, thousands of creatures mill about or are lining up into ordered infantry ranks. In the air above, dozens of chromatic dragons wheel and shriek with a flock of immense crows awaiting the bloodshed of the battle to come. And I think we should stop here as we get into the battle, which will essentially be happening soon. Yeah. We'll be getting into the action. Kappa just says no. All these chromatic dragons, all these people lining up. Uh, no. <laughs> Thank you everybody for watching. If, if anybody was watching, I didn't see anything in chat, so. But uh bot will be up as soon as I decide to put it up because I've been lazy. I streamed Final Fantasy all yesterday, like all day. All day. I had a six hour session where I didn't break the thing. It was my bad. I was having so much fun. Anyways. We will see you next week where we're going to be heading into the caldera. Would they actually make it to Tiamat or we'll find out. Is this Is this going to end next week or the week after or the week after? Actually, probably not the week after. We might take it off because that's my birthday. It's, it's probably going to be in a couple of moments. Probably. I figure I, the goal is, I'm hoping the goal is to get it done by your birthday. Or maybe on my birthday. That would actually be a good birthday present. Battle for Tima. Yeah. Yay. Uh, unless that's the day we plan to get drunk. <laughs> that would probably be a bad thing. Welcome to Birds and Dragons. I just had a power hour like two hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> All right, kids. Thanks for the